Bill Schmidt here again with uh, CED's Solution Consultant Network. I want to do a quick video. Um, this question comes up um, a lot, actually, on activating software from a centralized computer um, so that you know I can share licensing. If I have a, a function where um, you know five people use the software, all five of those people may not be using the software at the exact same time. And so maybe I only need three copies of that particular package and because no one uses it more than maybe three people at most use it at any one time. And so that's very common. As long as I have some sort of network connectivity, I'm golden because the software is designed to check in, check out automatically. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go down here um, and go into the Rockwell software. Uh, folder and go to the Factory Talk Activation Manager software, which is this. Uh, this software needs to be installed on every computer that has anything to do with Rockwell software because it's the, the keys to the palace. You get this initial screen. It's under Manage Activations. By default, it looks in this directory. Depending on your operating system, it may vary, but it's going to look in this directory to itself for a file. Um, there's a convenience here to open up that directory somewhere. Uh, let's look at, where is that at? Get new activations, home, configure, configure, file access, browse activation folder. Here we go. Um, these are common files. So these, these text files include uh, two parts of information. One is a serial number that is going to be unique to your computer, um, whether that be a Ethernet MAC address or a hard drive serial number, which is the most common and highly recommended to be the, the one, um, or a dongle. I'm not a fan of dongles. Dongles get lost. Um, but a dongle, a unique dongle in our case for Rockwell Software, provides a unique serial number that can be bound to. Um, if you look in these packages, it'll say here's the package we're looking for. Um, and then it's got this big hash string which encodes the information that it needs to make sure you're legit. These are the files that really all that matter. Um, so to that end, um, it looks to this directory for that file. If I put a common server in, then all I need to do is update this search path, um, add a server, um, type in the computer name, um, and then um, enable it. And then also I probably want to promote it to be the first search path to it just to be efficient. And so I save that. And now automatically, once I refresh the server, that's always important to go here to refresh the server. Um, that turns off the services, restarts them so that they're actively looking for that path. Um, once that happens, then um, this guy is going to be where it's going to look for the activations every time it looks for it. And then it, it is a failover. So if you had um, multiple computers with a mixed mode or, or you, some of them are on your PC, um, it can go down through a list of them. So, But that's all you have to do. Set up that computer name and you're good to go. Um, it could be an IP address as well if you don't have DNS for whatever reason. So anyway, as always, um, my contact information will be below. And uh, give me a holler for any questions you might have. Thanks. Have a good day.